In this video, I'm going to show you how to use this macro to add keywords to messages. If you haven't used a macro before, make sure that your macro security settings are set on low. To do this, go to File, Options, Trust Center, Trust Center Settings, Macro Settings, and it should be set on low. Later on, if you want to, you can sign the macro and change the setting in here. Press Alt F11 to open the VBA editor. Right click on project one and choose insert user form. Adjust the size of the user form. You can give it a better caption. Next, you'll need to add a list box to the form, select it, scroll down and find the multi-select, change this to multi if you want to be able to select more than one keyword. Next, add a command button and change the caption on this to OK. Because I may want to open the message after I select it and add a keyword to the subject, I'm going to put a checkbox on and I'm going to name the caption, rename the caption. Now we right click on it and choose view code and paste the form code into the macro. You'll need to change the path to your text file here. Right click on project one and choose insert module. Now paste the module macro in. Click save and then we'll go back to Outlook. Right click on the ribbon and choose customize ribbon. Select macros from choose commands from and then click new group to add a new group to the tab. You can drag it to the top if you want it closer to the middle of the screen. And then select the macro, click Add to add it to the new group. Click Rename and rename it, then select an icon. Click OK when you're ready. That puts a button for the macro on the ribbon, which makes it easier to use. When you're ready to use the macro, select a message and then click the button, select the keywords and click OK and that will save the message. If you need to open the message after you add the keyword, click open message and then click OK. That will open it and you can type in additional keywords. If you have the header set on the minimized header, you won't be able to type in the screen. You'll need to expand it in order to type. And then when you are finished, you'll need to save your changes.